Hey everybody, it's Travis, your manufactured home nerd. Today we're gonna to be doing a tour at River Lake Homes again. This home is built by Jessup Homes. I don't know much about them, but we're gonna check it out. This is the Royal. I uh, never got a chance to walk in it, so we're gonna see it together, but you can already see a couple little ac accents out there. They've got the tin roof over the windows on the front of the home, as well as the cement plank siding, lap siding oh, on the front underneath your dormer. Um, let's go learn a little bit about this house together. I'm gonna check it out. I do have the storm door, that's always nice. Let you watch the weather, let in some more light in here. A lot of windows so far. All right, we have what you call the board and bat walls, which is sheetrock covered in paper or vinyl. Uh, they got some, they do have blinds in there. It looks like they come with a home and MDF beams throughout, which is really nice. Look and the orange peel ceiling. Even got the vents in the ceiling as well. Got some leno in the home. Looks like there's carpet in the bedrooms. This is an open floor plan. Get the wainscoting look right there when you first enter in. And barn doors over the, a little coffee bar it looks like here in the dining room. A little disjointed on my tour. I uh, hadn't got a chance to do one of these before. And you know, when you walk in something you hadn't seen, it is a little overwhelming. But let's take a look at this kitchen, dining room, and into the living room. It is that open floor plan like we talked about. Built-in entertainment center there. And it, Coming into the kitchen, you got kind of the waterfall island, as they call it. A little step down, room for a lot of stools. And a large farm sink as well. No divider in there. Of course, we see the dishwasher, stove, and refrigerator. These are probably the standard appliances. I imagine they have upgrade options as well. A little cubby for storage there. This isn't the rolled edge countertops, but it does look like it is wood cabinet doors. So that is a plus, and it is lined cabinets as well. A little pantry right here. Got you three shelves for wire racks. Space to put your crock pot and macaroni and cheese and Chef Boyardee, other things like that. Little stack of drawers over here in the corner next to the stove. That's great for your utensils. And then two cabinets there. Also be good for your spice rack. And then, Nice stainless steel hood, stone crest hood. Those are a nice hood as well. And we add your utility room here. It's got the cottage door and breaker box. Most homes are gonna have the breaker box in there. And your washer dryer hookup, and it looks like a plug for a freezer. Some can lights as well. It's got the little one inch molding around the ceiling. These beams are a nice effect and help frame out the living room, kitchen, dining area. Looks like it's a MDF product there. So it's not a real wood beam, but it is a nice feature. Now coming down here, we're gonna get to see the guest bedrooms. They do have carpet in the bedrooms. We got bedroom one or two. Looks like it has two closets. That's an interesting little feature. I guess you can put that frames out the little coffee bar on the other side. Let you put a bed right here so that your closet frames out the bed. Gives you space for a dresser on the opposite wall as well. And over here on the left, we have your guest bathroom. Does have ceramic sinks and a plastic faucet. And then, but you do have the fiberglass tub shower combo and an elongated toilet. A little shorter, but hey, I'm sure they have the handicap options as well. And then off here, we have bedroom three. It's got a nice little corner closet there. That little bump out in bedroom two is apparently for the AC. And then we're gonna see, it looks like we got five bedrooms total, so that's really nice. Here you got bedroom four. Another little corner closet there. And, a Jack and Jill bathroom in between the two. That's always a nice feature. A little one sink in there, tub shower combo. Not really sure what options they have to change in this bedroom or the bathrooms, but it is something that's pretty nice. Another little closet. And then it looks like there was a closet here as well. So you got some extra storage for linens. 
so far, I'm really liking the layout. Um, just wish I knew a little bit more about this home to kind of tell you more. It does have a pretty good feeling in it. Um, not super echoey. The floor's not squeaking or anything like that, so that's always a good thing. It looks like this is a super large bedroom. Easily got space for a king-size bed in here. And I'm sure they have some different color options. Now this closet is full. Looks like insulation and other items for the trim out. But you do have it double racked here and the wire shelving throughout at the top. All right, let's go check out the bathroom. So far I see a large deck tub, the built-in counter around it, and two windows around. I believe that's plastic over there, so those should be translucent. And a nice little built-in cubby there for towels and other storage. One of the things that's neat is where they put this faucet here, so I guess you could sit at either end of this tub. And it is pretty deep. There's your bathroom look, large mirror above it. Drawer stack here. We'll shut off the valves there. That's always something good. And of course the line cabinets as well. You got your little toilet cubby, water closet area, and it is a tile shower. It's got the swing door. It's got kind of a standard shower head. I've never really seen it. Um, this feels like a vinyl tile and it does have the textured fiberglass basin as well. So just a couple of options here for you on this Jessup. Uh, I believe they're built in Texas and they're available all through Louisiana and Texas possibly Arkansas and Oklahoma as well. I don't really know much about them, like I said. Um, if you do have questions, River Lake Homes here in Winsboro would definitely be glad to answer them. There's some very nice features in this house and they carry quite a few others. If you're looking for something a little more upscale, we have options at Bolton Homes as well and be glad to help you. But all, as always, I just want people to have the best advice possible. So any questions, make sure you go ahead and comment them. We'd love to find out the answer and help you learn more on your home journey. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as well. We got two homes that I'm gonna try and release every week for the foreseeable future. And I'd love to, to watch along with you. Thanks for joining me. Y'all have a great day.